Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool Graciela bracelet and this was designed by Lumania0304 on Instagram. I will bring up her profile here in just a second. Um, I will. I definitely wanted to make sure that you got a good look at this first though. So this is a really cool design. So I will bring up her account on Instagram here. This is Lumania0304. I will also have her name in the description box below, so make sure to check her out on Instagram. She posts a bunch of awesome designs, and I love to make them. So this is just a quick overview of her account. Her edits are really, really nice, and they always end up matching the backgrounds and whatever she chooses to do with them. And she does a lot of amazing original designs as well, with and without beads. So I would definitely recommend her account. I will again have her name in the description box below, so make sure to check her out on Instagram. Give her a follow for me. And today I'm going to show you how to make this. So what you're going to need is four bar pins at the very least. Or sorry, you don't actually um, need this many. You can do this with just two bar pins, or if you only have um, four bar pins for whatever reason, you can uh, make this too long and make a full wrap. I will be showing you how to do this on just the two pegs, but um, I'm going to be doing the main tutorial on four pegs. And this is what it looks like with 12 beads. Um, the minimum size I would say would be 12 beads because this is a little bit small on me. Um, so if you are doing this for a kid or someone who's smaller, this is probably the size you should make it. And you're also going to need a hook and a C-clip. I don't know if I mentioned that before. But um, to do this, you're also going to need a string of beads here. Make sure that they are on loom bands. Oops. So to make this, all you have to do is start with a regular cap band, pull through a plain band, pull through a bling band or a beaded band, a plain band, a beaded band, and so on and so forth, down until you have used all 12 of your beaded bands. Once you've used all 12 of your beaded bands here, what you're going to want to do is pull through one last plain band and put it into a slip knot or use a C-clip, whichever you prefer, but don't pull this too tight because we will need to use it. And once you have that, we can go ahead and get started. So what we're going to want to do is start with the border color. In this bracelet, it is the fuchsia. I am using cocoa today. What you're going to want to do is if you have large C-clips, you're going to want to place two bands across the bottom here just so that it strengthens your bracelet then what you're going to do is go up into the outside on both sides just like this and then you're going to do two single chains until you reach the second to last peg on each of your sides if you are doing 12 beaded bands I will show you what it looks like when you get there if you are not if you're doing um, less or if you're doing more then I will also show you what it should look like as you get to the end and I'll explain um, a little bit more about where you want to stop. So I'm going to go ahead and go off camera and finish placing the rest of my border then I will come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so when you reach the end, this is what you're going to want it to look like. You're going to want to um, take your last band and go up into the center. Also, the number of pegs on your second and third pins here should be the same amount of bands that you used in this chain. So say you are doing 13 or 14 beads and you have a third loom or a third loom length, you're going to want to count the cap in as one and then count all the way down. And this last one is going to be the number of pegs that's here. So I use 26 bands for mine and this is 26 pegs. So once your loom looks like this, if you are just using 12 beads, don't worry about it. Um, it should just look like this at the end of your loom. Once you have that, let's go ahead and come back to the beginning of the loom. And the sun is really flaring up right here. Um, so the next thing that we're going to be doing is laying these two, I guess, sets of blue bands here, which is navy blue jelly and ocean blue jelly, or ocean blue pig, sorry. And what we're first going to want to lay is the ocean blue, so I'm going to use white Persian for that. And starting on this outside peg, you're going to go up and into the center. And same here on this outside peg, go up and into the center. Then you're going to take your blue, your navy blue jelly. I'm using white for this. And you're going to want to take it from this peg, oops, 
just lost that, and stretch it all the way up to here and cross it over your short stretch band. Same here, go up and across, just like so. Then take your white Persian band again and do a short stretch into the center. And then a long stretch white band right here. And just go ahead and continue this all the way down till you reach the end of your loom. So I'm going to go ahead and go off camera and finish the rest of this since I am making a full wrap. I usually do when I do beaded bracelets. So I'm going to go ahead and go off camera and I'll come back and show you what it looks like at the end. Okay, so once you have reached the end of your loom, this is what it should look like. And when you get up to here, you're going to place a long stretch band, and then you're going to not place another short stretch because our border is here. Instead, you're going to take another long stretch band color and just put it straight forward to this last peg here. And once you have done that, we can go ahead and come back to the beginning of the loom. And what we're going to be doing is now placing our little beaded string here. So what you want to do is find the capping band where you, put your, where you started it, your cap band, and what you're going to do is you should only have two loops, and I forgot to say this before, if um, you do usually triple cap, I would just recommend doing two loops because we need to pull it over two pegs. And also, obviously, if you are only doing the two peg version, this is where you would stop, and then you would uh, use this as the transfer. So. What you're going to do is grab both loops of the cap band. You're going to place one loop around the second peg and the other loop around the third peg, just like that. And then what you're going to do is stretch this other end all the way down so you reach the end of your loom. And obviously you can't see where mine is, but I'm going to stretch mine down to the very end. I actually have to undo this cap band here. And I'm going to stretch it down to the end of the loom, and um, I will show you what it looks like once I have attached this. So I'm back. Um, and when you get to the end of your loom, you're going to want to take the C-clip off or undo the slip knot and put each of the loops on these two pegs, just like we did with the cap band. And you'll notice that these bands are really stretched in between, so if you are using limited edition bands, just be um, careful of that, that they don't snap or break. So once you have that... It, once you have your loom looking like that, let's go ahead and come back to the beginning of your loom. And the next thing that we're going to be doing is taking these um, white bands here with our beads on it, and we're going to pull it over these pegs. So if you are only doing the two loom version, what you're going to want to do is just pull over one side. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the second band, and pull it over this peg. Then you're going to take the other side and pull it over the other peg. Go to the next one, this is going to have your beaded band on it. You're going to pull it over the first peg, and then you're going to pull it over the second peg. And if they're not in the center, you can always adjust them. Mine are really loose right now, so they're going to move anyway. Then just go up to the next band, pull it over and over. So it's just like a single chain, but it's the opposite way. So um, what you're going to want to do is just pull those bands off to the sides and wrap them around both of those pegs. Also make sure that your bands at the end don't pop off because mine did that while I was off camera and uh, it kind of destroyed my entire strand so I had to redo it. But as you can see I'm off camera already so I'm going to go ahead and go down to the end of my loom, finish putting all of these bands onto the sides and then I will come back and show you what to do next. Alright so this is what the end of my loom looks like. I've pulled all my bands over to the sides and it should work out perfectly if you did use 26 loops for a full two looms and 12 beads. Um, if you use something different, then you might need to adjust it if you did only use two full looms or um, if you have less beads to use. So once your loom looks like this, go ahead and come back to the beginning. And what we're going to do now, <laughs> that was my part of my stand there, is we're going to turn our loom around. So let me go ahead and turn this around and make sure that the arrows are pointing towards you. We're going to take two bands for a cap band, that's what I'm using anyway. And I'm going to cap both bands on my hook and grab both bands, or four loops. I'm going to pull it over these bottom two pegs here. So once you have it over these bottom two pegs here, we can start looping. So 
The looping process here is a little bit confusing, so do make sure that you pay attention while we are looping so that you don't get lost. First thing we're going to do is actually loop the border up to a certain point. So what you're going to do is go underneath of the cap band, underneath of the beaded band, or the bead string band, and underneath of this white band right here that goes forward, you're going to grab that very bottom cocoa or border band, pull it out to itself, go inside the other peg, pull that other band out to itself. Then what you're going to do is go underneath of all three of these bands, and I know that obviously this one wasn't looped and neither is this one, but we are going to go all the way down through. We're going to grab that border band, we're going to pull it straight forward, same here, go all the way down, grab the border band, and pull it straight forward. This is what gives the bracelet its really nice look, so um, go ahead and loop the border down, just go all the way to the bottom and grab that band and pull it forward. And I'm going to go ahead and do this all the way down the rest of my loom. And then I will come back and show you what to loop next. Okay, so once you have finished looping all of these single chain bands up to the top, we're going to stop here. Um, and we're not going to loop this last one in yet. Then what we're going to do once your loom looks like this is go ahead and come back to the beginning of your loom. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to loop these kind of X bands. So the first thing that you want to do is go underneath of your cap band here. You're going to grab that bottom most white band, it should be the band that goes straight forward. You have to wiggle it out. And it might not create a teared up shape since this border band here is already pulling on this band. So go ahead and pull it forward. Same here. Go ahead and pull this one forward. Then what we're going to do is loop this long stretch band here. So go inside of the cap band, and you're going to grab this top band, you're going to pull it up to itself, and then same thing on the other side, pull this up to itself, then grab this short stretch or white Persian band and pull it simply out to itself, oops, and same in here, and pull this out to itself, then we're going to go ahead and loop this white band again, pull it up and into the center, and this white band here up and into the center, pull the white Persian band out and out. So you're going to go ahead and do this looping all the way down until you reach the end of your loom. I'm going to do the same thing and I will come back and show you what to loop next. Okay, so once you have reached the end of your loom, what you're going to do is just simply loop this um, you're going to loop the short stretch band out to itself and then loop the brown border band up into the center and then grab both of these bands that stretch across these last two pegs, put them on your hook and then I'm going to take this off, but I'm going to do it off camera because it does take a little while for me to take it off. Um, I'm not going to straighten the bands or anything, I'm just going to be right back and I will show you what it looks like. Alright, so I just took this off of the loom, but I didn't straighten any of the bands or anything. Um, I just kind of pulled it off, and this is what it looks like, so I'm really pleased with how this one turned out. And um, nothing really, there's nothing really more to add. You can just straighten the bands, pull on them, um, adjust these center beads however you like. Usually they'll just be right in the center here. And... Yeah, so that's going to be it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe. I will have Lumania 0304's name in the description box below, so make sure to check her out there. And that's all I'm going to have for this video, so I hope to see you next time.